these are the best OBS settings for live streaming to YouTube to avoid any lag or any blurry video. So we're going to go to OBS and click to settings. First, you want to go to stream and you want to make sure under service, you choose YouTube RTMPS. Now for server, you want to make sure you choose primary YouTube ingest server. And you have two options. You can either connect to YouTube channel directly or use a stream key. You can go ahead and do that. Once you're done, we're going to go to video and then we're going to go to base canvas resolution you want to make sure you choose 1920 by 1080 for output resolution you want to make sure you choose 1920 by 1080 as well for common fps value we can go ahead and choose 30 frames per second or 30 if you are gaming or you're doing some sort of sports you can actually do 60 frames per second uh, next we're gonna go to output make sure output mode is set to advanced and then we can go under streaming and then make sure our video encoder is set to nvidia nvec h264 if you don't have any nvidia option here you can actually choose any dedicated graphics card that you may have installed on your computer or you can use x264 just keep in mind that if you have a dedicated graphics card it's gonna give you better results now for audio encoder just leave it to core audio aac no problem for encoder settings under rate control choose constant bit rate for the bit rate for youtube you want to make sure you choose 10,000 k bps you also want to make sure your internet upload speed is at least between 15 and 20 mbps or megabits per second that's gonna allow you to really support this bit rate now for keyframe interval you want to make sure you keep it at two seconds or two s for preset here you can play with your computer depending on the strength of your computer but for me i always keep actually slow good quality it seems to work well no problem everything else you can just leave it the way it is just go ahead and copy what Whatever is on my screen once you're done click apply and click ok and you should be able to go live and have a smooth live stream make sure you follow for more live streaming tips like this one